Hello everyone, we are back and this time we are with Match Angler of the Year, Lee Kerry, as voted for today. How are we Lee? Fine, thank you Joe. How are you? Tremendous. We're here at Lindome Lake. It's nice and peaceful, isn't it, today? Mm. Bit of they've, JCB they've got a bit of, uh, they're doing a lot of work here, big plans, very Massive ambitious. Plans. So... We're having a bit of silverfish slash F1 sport on the pole. Yeah, I fished a festival here at the weekend. Made an absolute uh, balls of it, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, very honest of you, that. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't draw very well. I didn't feel like it was right. And we usually come and have a practice, but these were the key. These fish were the key. There wasn't really any silvers at all. Um, Which so, is unusual for this lake, it has to be said. Yeah, exactly, that's right. I think there was a lot of rain in last week and that probably just hindered them a bit, but... Nice F1s. Yeah, I think like those fish, you see, that's two pound plus, that fish. Yeah. And uh, when there isn't the amount of small silver fish to catch, it, beca it became all about those. And I was, uh, as we were in the middle of the lake here on 42, and I spent the weekend up at the top on one day, 35 and then down at the bottom on 57 and there just didn't seem to be any head of f1s at either end so um we've come back for another go yeah we came back with in the interest of science yeah and the magazine of the magazine to try and see what's uh what's the best way to su suss it it's been quite interesting actually isn't it because um started off poor and the days just sort of got better really as it's gone on which I think that was the key at the weekend. I think you needed to not panic and be a little bit calmer. Yeah, so we just... What's feeding? Well, I'm gonna probably put eight or 10 of these in this time. Just maggots? Yeah, just maggots. I think one of the biggest mistakes that even I made at the weekend was I came with pinkies, casters, few worms. It was natural baits only. And really all I needed was a tub of maggots and a little bit of patience and <clears throat> That's probably hard when you're used to getting so many bites here from small fish and the conditions had just changed and it, it it just wasn't the same and you can see today we actually have caught a few small fish today but it's been So it's... you come you'd struggle to build a weight of them silvers today, wouldn't you? Yeah you would. They're not massive, but there is a few to catch. But honestly, come the weekend this is it's it's been cold for a couple of days and it's cleared off a bit, but it was so coloured and I think that, that has played a big part but it's been a lovely day. I, I tell you, when you're fishing dotted down floats and... It's flat calm today. Yeah, nice and calm, and you're fishing for these big F1s or odd chub or whatever it is you're fishing for, it is really, really nice. Lovely fishing, really, because you've got light elastics on, haven't you? So It's nice. But you're just literally tapping those maggots in, nice and accurate, nice little float, and just sitting there patient. Oh, it? yeah, I mean, look, it, for as long as I've yeah, big silver, as long as I've uh, been fishing in winter, Joe, it's never really been any different. Even I remember going as a kid, and <clears throat> you don't want a lot of bait. You want to be patient. You want a nice light float that's dotted down, nice roach. You know, nice little strung out rig. Let's have a little look at what float you've got. On. Yeah, all right, mate. Well, we've got here. Uh, we've got a dumper now. Yeah, dumper, the old dumper. So we've got the old F1 maggot. Uh, four by tens. Nice yeah, and it's got like. You got just a string and little shot. Yeah, these are like, I think they're four or five number tens there. Just strung out, little short hook length, single six elastic, and you know, I'd fancy land. I had a couple of big carp at the weekend that only counted a pound, but you can land pretty much anything this time of year once the fish slow down on that. I've got an 08 free flow yeah, power hook nice. length. It looks good riding it though, doesn't it? Looks like a, looks like a man. Maybe he'll be quiet now for a bit. So yeah, it's uh, you know nice and light, light elastics, and just take your time with anything that you hook, and it's just nice. And accuracy is really important, isn't it? Just dropping in a few maggots. Just lovely, isn't it? Isn't it lovely? But it's worth saying because obviously, and I've been a big advocate of this in the past, fishing multiple swims and mm. rotating swims. You're not doing that today, you literally fish down one hole. <coughs> yeah, I mean... 16 metres here and that's what you're using. 
Yeah, well, when I when I came at the weekend, I fed two two ground baity swims. I had a, a, a line that I hey, up small fisher back. I had a line that I loose fed with maggots. I had a line where I tapped some maggots in. I had a line down the edge. How many's that? Like five swims. <clears throat> and I chased them about a bit, and I just felt like I was chasing nothing because there wasn't many bites. And I'd have been better off just setting a trap. And today, it was an hour and five minutes, we hadn't had a single bite. And um, that was the same at the weekend. Exactly the same, after an hour, nobody had anything. And then it's just got better and better. And we've had, what, a dozen F1s and probably like 20 plus silver fish, which for this time of year is really nice yeah. fishing. Yeah, and, it, and it's so, I mean, it couldn't be any easier. You don't have to fish 16 metres. I'm, I'm sort of fishing long because generally speaking on this lake, that is the length where you catch. But, you know, if the wind was bad, you could fish a bit shorter, but it's really nice when you're fishing so light and nice little bites and everything's just nice. I'm just shotting up there, that boy's nicely dotted. Double maggot seems a bit better today because I think there's a lot, there's a few more smaller fish feeding. Now I've noticed on your side tray a bit of GB. Yeah. Nick's nice and damp. Yeah. What's, yeah. What's that for? Well, I'll tell you what it's for, and uh, it has played a part today. Started off tapping those maggots in, and I just think that because the water's quite coloured, a tiny, tiny bit of ground bait is just putting a smell in the water. And it's enough to bring in some fish. Now, be that little roach, chub, skimmers, F1s. I just think it created a bit of activity. And when we put it in today, 15 minutes later, just started getting an odd bite. Now, it might have been coincidence. I don't think it was. But no, I didn't think it was. I felt it was, it had made something happen in the peg. And that, so that's what I sort of wanted to come back to do today. I mean, usually when we do these features, we do a... Pre the match. Right? Yeah, we do them before the match, but because the weather was so bad, we decided not to. <clears throat> and instead, we've come after in terms of trying to learn something about it for the future. But it's been very interesting. I wish I wish I'd have been. I couldn't have. I couldn't have. This is one thing that I do enjoy about match fishing. You can't always win, and I certainly couldn't have won. I don't actually think I could have framed off off the two pegs I had at the weekend, which for me makes a big change with those, my drawing arm. <laughs> but I definitely didn't get the best out of the pegs and I did feel that I could have done a few things different to get a bit more out of them, which is why I was quite looking forward to coming back today and seeing what a difference, a little bit of patience, well, I was gonna be up there. a little bit of patience has had. And, you know, bearing in mind 20 pound was a decent weight at the weekend, I think I had 19 and 23 we're well over 20 pound already and we've only been fishing three hours so come again now we're on this number put one thing that has caught my eye lee is your hook what obviously you've got one of the new sfls on there yeah the thing is, they look very nice. I'm yeah, sure. the thing like, is about those FS, SFLs is, I'm re I really really like the GPM. Yeah, it's a really really good hook that you can use all the way through the spring, summer, autumn in open water commercially when you're just hooking baits on. The trouble is, is when you get into winter, the fish do become a little bit hook shy, and. Uh, that same pattern that's been so popular, we just wanted to lighten it off a little bit, and that's exactly what an SFL is. It's exactly the same shape, but they're just a bit lighter, a bit finer, a tiny bit smaller for each gauge, and they just really come up for, and fish really nice. Which one him, look. Fish? Yeah. <clears throat> and they've been, don't want to talk it up, but they've been really reliable. <laughs> They're lovely sharp, aren't they? They're really sharp. And, and I think, you know, when you saw that there, really nice little bite, clonked into him. Soft elastic. Yeah, it's just beautiful fishing. I've got an 18 
SFL, which is a small hook, but because of the uh, because of the way they're made and everything else, they, they do come up really nice. Oh, we got an F1? Yeah, we've got an F1, haven't we? There he is. Look. Nice one to end yeah, going on. Really, really nice, uh, really nice fishing to be honest. I mean, sun's shining, another two pound plus fish, look. No wind. No wind. You notice there, and that's been the pattern today. We caught an F1 right at the start, couple of silvers, didn't panic, just was patient. F1s have come back in, two pound plus fish there. Perfect. There you so, go, that video, 10 minutes long, and you've had two F1s, a couple of silvers. Yeah, what more can you want from your day's fishing? Excellent. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Cheers, they can Lee. read all about it, can't they? In Matt Fishing Magazine. In Matt Fishing Magazine. Thanks everyone, cheers Lee, and we'll see you later.